community builds itself up. The connection with the classmates is, is one of the most powerful things. There's a reason why I do a 16-hour round-trip commute to the school. The culture, the collective community, it's a different feel. The faculty is just a family. It's another part of my community. There are students in my program who have master's degrees in economics. I work as a registered nurse. They do a very thoughtful job of trying to put people together that have different backgrounds and can complement each other's skill set. So I work for the Securities and Exchange Commission. I have two other degrees um, from really good institutions, but this has been a different level of rigor. But what we do is we connect with each other. We leverage each other's skill sets. We work together so that no one is just overwhelmed or left behind. The group dynamic that's set up at the beginning kind of sets the stage for being able to lean on those when you need the help and also to be honest about where your strengths and weaknesses lie. We knew when we broke into our teams, if you wanted to get through this program, you'd have to do it together. In the end, you end up with something that's better than what any one person could have put together. Really? We're good for marketing strategy? Are we? <laughs> should we have a group heart to heart right now? Yeah, we should talk about <laughs> I think you also into the resource of your colleague who has a master's degree in economics and they're learning and gaining value because they're teaching you things and you're learning more because you're having an opportunity to ask questions. Do you guys remember what else we have to do for the other classes? So the fund managers in the room, how, how do you think the news would be received? These professors are very, very engaged with us, more so than I've seen you know anywhere else, even sitting in other classes when I was trying to decide. Um, you know, where I was going to uh, pursue my EMBA. It's not just the classwork, it's getting to know people that are doing consulting, people that are doing uh, analytics, physicians, surgeons, uh, pharmaceutical uh, executives. It's such a good range of things. Yale was a smaller community. Um, it was a more intentional community. I love the breakdown of the healthcare, the asset management, and the sustainability. I can go to any business school and sit in class with a bunch of finance people that are like me, that know what I know. I am getting a world of education just from my colleagues. So that was a big deal. I have uh, classmates from all different backgrounds. They are venture capitalists, they're lawyers, they're doctors. I thought that everybody was going to be that competitive. And that's not the way at all. Now, a lot of my best friends are in the program. There are some of the other ladies that live in New York City where I live. We've gotten together to go out for dinner or go out for lunch um, and have that kind of interaction outside of school. And certainly when class gets out on Friday afternoon, usually we're going for dinner, um, maybe stopping by Maury's or somewhere like that where the whole group can get together and celebrate. You know, definitely I'll stay connected with the Yale community as well as my, my classmates. A lot of my uh, business partners or future business partners are here as well. Like the Brazilian economy right now, it's kind of a challenge. Um, they were actually went last week to uh, California, to the West Coast, to, and, Canada. Uh, and Canada, right? To actually meet with investors. We just share the same um, drive to move forward, the same goals. And that's a, that's a key bond that we have. And every time I go back, let's say, to New York or I'm visiting for business in New York or in the Washington area, it's an easy pick up the phone and call my classmates and we get together. Over the course of the program, it'll be roughly 22 days of my life I'll be spent commuting to be here. Every week I come up here, I know it's value add when I go back.